grieving the loss of their son finds comfort as hundreds of people show up to remember the teenager murdered in a rage of jealousy. Yet the boy's father was there telling ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska about why his son should still be alive tonight. Hundreds in the community showed up to honor 15 year old Gio Diaz holding a candlelight vigil tonight that is ending in the woods where he was found murdered on Monday. Candles illuminating the place where Giovanni Diaz took his last breath. I hope my son, uh, I know he's here with us. And not only in this community, but through the entire state of Florida. Diaz's father, Jose, overwhelmed. He helped everyone, everyone. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says 16-year-old Dylan Murray lured Diaz into the woods, then beat him to death with a baseball bat. Judd says the motive was jealousy over a girl. And it's terrible that my son lost his life like this. Three days ago, Diaz walked his Lake Wales neighborhood with friends like Clayton Pate. It's just our friendship together and being somewhere where he was. Tonight, hundreds walking with his spirit, carrying his memory with them. He was the nicest person you could ever meet. He was a very smart kid. He, he was very nice. He was very thoughtful of other people. Murray is charged with first degree murder and now held at a juvenile assessment center. The state's attorney will decide if Murray will be charged as an adult. The sheriff says Murray was arrested two years ago for two counts of battery against Diaz. Diaz's father wishes someone spoke up sooner. If you know that something's going to happen, please say something. Something. A lot of these tragedies can be prevented. In Polk County, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.